Hello guys, welcome to Sharaba Informatics. Today I'm going to talk about biological databases and their importance in bioinformatics. What is database? A database is an organized collection of data. And a biological database is an organized collection of data about biomolecules such as nucleic acid, proteins and polymers. In the previous video about what is bioinformatics, I told you that bioinformatics involves collection, classification, manipulation, analysis, storage, retrieval, movement, dissemination and protection of biological data. But how does bioinformatician do all this? They do it with the help of databases. I want to talk about the properties and uses of biological database with the help of these attributes. First, let's talk about collection of biological data. Biological information or experimental results from around the world is collected together in one place with the help of biological database. Most of the biological database is developed with a user-friendly interface which allows scientists to directly submit the experimental results around the world wide web. Each submission in biological database is identified by a unique key or accession number. Most of the journals require scientists to give, give accession number for sequence of structured data while they are submitting their research for publication. How is biological data classified? Biological data is classified based on molecular type. Biological data base, bases stores data of relevant information together. The data can be nucleotide sequences, protein sequences, protein motif, three-dimensional structure, gene expression data. Database that has a wide range of related information is called as generalized database. Database which, is, which meets special needs are called as specialized databases. Examples, flybase, saccharomyces, genome database, human genes and diseases database, online keg are some of the examples. Biological database can be classified into primary, secondary and composite. Primary databases are those biological databases in which experimental results are directly submitted into the database. Example, NCBI, EM, EMBL, DDBJ and PDB database. Secondary database are those databases which are derived from the primary database. These databases are well analyzed and annotated version of the primary database. Some of the examples are CATH, SCOP, ProSite and KEG. Composite databases are biological databases that contains information about a variety of primary database, example NCBI. We'll talk more about these uh, each and every database and how to use them when I talk about the bioinformatic analysis. Once the scientists submit the data through online submission, appointed curators would add the data. They would check for errors and format consistency. If there is any conflicts or updates, they will so solve those such issues. If we add data directly into these databases, we will have inconsistent and inefficient database management. Garbage in, garbage out. We don't want to do that. Therefore, we have curators who would help to cleanse, standardize and enhance the data that we submit into the database so that we are able to maintain the quality and the efficiency. Databases are preserved electronically in server. It is a convenient and efficient method of storing vast amount of information a server is a computer which has a large data storing capacity. Nowadays, with increased amount of omics data and big data, we require cloud web servers. So how are the data stored in these databases? Data is stored in the form of flat files, uh, which is just text file, which is in a particular format and in which fields are terminated by delimited. Example, this is a GenBank format which is used to store a nucleotide sequence file. Files can also be stored in the form of relational database such as SQL, MySQL or object-oriented databases such as Oracle, XML, etc. Biological databases are a starting point of any bioinformatics analysis. 
We use statistics and different mining tools to study the database in order to develop bioinformatics tools, methodologies, pipelines and algorithms. Data can be retrieved from the database using the search option and scripting languages such as Perl or PHP is able to query the database and retrieve the data which is necessary and publish it in the user screen. Data can also be retrieved from the database with the help of uh, FTP which is file transfer protocol. Biological databases are available freely to the public and the scientific community for use. One of the main reasons for the exponential growth of bioinformatics and the growth of databases and tools is because is the data is available to all. How are biological data protected? Databases are available to public with or without restriction. Most of them are available with no restriction. Some databases are available with copyright. Some databases are only accessible in uh, you cannot download the information. Uh, some uh, databases are available fr uh, freely only for academic purposes and some are totally commercial. Most of the primary databases that are generated are carried out by government funded or socially funded research bodies and maintained by public funding. Hence, they, those information cannot be protected by intellectual property rights. So, the relationship between bioinformatics and biological database is like obligate symbiosis. One cannot live without the other. Without bioinformatics, you will not have biological database and without biological database, bio, the field of bioinformatics will not thrive. Thank you for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I will be talking more about different topics in bioinformatics, giving demo on bioinformatics tools. So go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you are notified when a new video comes. Share it with your friends and if you have any suggestion or questions, comment below or mail me. Thank you.